2010 for GBO is the year of commercialisation. We've crossed the chasm out of research and development. We will still be undertaking some research and development, but primarily our focus this year is to engage strategic partners, to engage licence deals and to sell lenses. We're looking forward to expanding the company in its technology division by putting on uh, chief scientists and technical officers in Hong Kong. We'll still be operating the laboratories in France. We'll be establishing further offices in the United States and looking at a wholly owned subsidiary in the United Kingdom. So those that in the past had to pick you know, near, mid-range or background as their area of best focus, but not really knowing where the problem is going to occur, now we say have a much bigger sweet spot, so near, mid and far are all in focus, and also edge to edge, corner to corner, so where most lenses have a sweet spot in the center and their normal depth of field, we have a massive depth of field and also great quality to the full frame. Russell Bandy has been appointed CEO of GBO Security Globally. He's going to be assisted by Bill Walker, who is CEO and President of GBO Technologies USA. One of the key strategic paths I think that is available is to open the door by saying that we are a company that offers a unique technology and optics for a massive depth of field, but then to bring into the company a broader range of products which would be competitor to high value lenses that are currently in the marketplace. So while it's conceivable that the niche markets that are approached today may be somewhat limited, I think it's very conceivable that in three to five years, this technology can be pushed in different applications, different markets, and it can actually expand and make GBO a, a large and well-respected lens company across a wide variety of applications, much as, for instance, Tokina or Lite or Leica or even Canon are considered today. Bill joins us from the Sierra Nevada Corporation where he was Director of Technology. His experience over the, in the industry over the last 25 years, including being Senior Vice President of Fairchild Imaging, brings enormous cachet to this company. I think for the success of the company now, what we need is to really work with the founders of the company, the entrepreneurs within the company, to allow them to continue to focus in the way in which they like to focus, in, which is in an entrepreneurial way. Uh, with the strong management team that's now been brought on, if they're able to focus on development and execution and commercialisation while the entrepreneurs can continue to be innovative in the way that they have been, I think this company is going to grow from strength to strength and will be a massive player in this market. Currently GBO is engaged in high level discussions with a range of strategic partners that are going to open up into verticals including uh, industrial, security, medical, biometrics and robotics. In my operations role, actually my sales role and operations role at GE, I worked very closely with Russell and we always got along really well and uh, when the opportunity came up for him to bring on another person, he called me and said, hey, here's what I'm, I'm, I've been working on, uh, there's maybe an opportunity uh, as, as this starts to grow to bring on someone for the West and you're the one I had in mind. So you're the, you're the guys that have been using some of the lenses? Buying the 16 lenses, yeah. Oh yeah? How are they going, how are they working so far? Awesome. We caught a theft with forensic detail and, and license plates. We're talking like across the building. Really? So we're talking 200 feet. But the casino's been open for two weeks. We already nailed somebody stealing a car with forensic detail off that 61 lens. Wow. It's wrong mount. Really? It's a C-mount lens. We're using the CS mount camera. No adapter, nothing. No adapter? No. The thing works awesome. We don't need it. Oh. Two megapixels, That's, it's actually almost three, 1080p. <coughs> Okay. So, yeah. Those are great lenses. We're really impressed. Oh, that's great to hear. To go to a, a you know, a, our own warehousing system, to be able to use e-commerce to allow our customers to order their product quickly and get it out just as quickly. Um, you know, I, I see stuff. That's kind of the vision that, that Russell and I and I think Mark also have.
Over the past 12 months, Gilles Mature has designed and refined and delivered a single element massive depth of field lens. This is going to change the economics of lenses. We come up now with a very disruptive technology, which is the single lens. The single lens is a single component that uh, can be produced at a very low price, very easy to manufacture, which uh, allows us to get a substantial depth of field enhancement that works in combination with a digital process. And all this chain, the lens, image sensor, the digital process provides a megapixel image quality uh, with improved depth of field. We've now established GBO Technologies Hong Kong. Gilles Mathieu has now moved to Hong Kong on a full-time basis to be near the manufacturers. He's now taken on the role of chief scientist. He's supported by two individuals, a chief technology officer as well as a science officer who are ensuring his main goals over the next 12 months is the writing and designing of patents. When I embarked on this incredible journey which has become GBO, I never dreamed that I would meet so many remarkable human beings now leading a major technological revolution in optics. I discovered depth of field through trial and error and it was shown to many highly qualified scientists who consistently dismissed it as some trick or illusion. They believed it defied the laws of physics and was therefore impossible. In 2003, I met Mark Montgomery, who explained Arthur C. Clarke's third law that says, when a technology is sufficiently advanced, it is indistinguishable from magic. And that was the beginning of GBO. I started working for GBO in 2005. I was the first assistant director in the film industry and Mark recognised my organisational skills. I'm very excited to see where the company's going and I think it's going to be a global success and it makes me feel very special to be a part of the GBO team. While I invented the core technology, it was Mark's vision that created GBO. Together, we began an amazing journey and eventually found Gilles Mathau, a remarkable human being and a brilliant optical engineer who not only verified my discovery but enhanced it and took it to astonishing new levels. The very encouraging thing now is uh, all this is moving to some real product that, uh, that uh, is going into the market and uh, the, the first feedback we, we can get from this is uh, very encouraging. Yeah. Today because of the support from everyone associated with GBO's development, we have an opportunity to deliver a technology as revolutionary as the transistor was to the radio valve. With the infinity lenses, the single element lens and 3D technology, I believe there is more optical innovation in GBO today than the rest of the world's optical companies combined. Having founded this company four years ago with Dr Jim Frazier, I'm humbled by the quality and the passion of people that have come to put their efforts into delivering this technology into the marketplace and I look forward to giving you a full rounded report in the last quarter of 2010.